Hello and welcome back to the inventory system once again. In this video I want to address two things that were posted in the comments. First off, there is a bug that we will fix and afterwards I'll show you how you can save your hotkeys as well. First let me show you the bug, that is if we hit play and pick up some items and then let's drag the health potion to one of our hotkey slots and if we then sort the array or sort it by the amount you can see that because the health potion swapped the position with uh, wood the wood is now assigned to a hotkey slot which we don't want to happen to fix that we will need to go to our blueprints BP inventory and first go to the filter empty slots function so let's search for that filter empty slots and right here after we add the array element to the local array we will call the function handle swap for hotkeys that we already created the index 1 will be the array index and index 2 is the return value of our add node here connect that, compile and save then we also have to go to our bubble sort array function and right here after we promote the local slot 2 we will also call handle swap for hotkeys connect that to the set ray element and index 1 will be local index 1 and index 2 will be local index 2 then we can compile save play again drag our health potion to a slot pick up the wood select the mount and sort it you can see that there are different positions now, but still the health potion is assigned to our hotkey and we can hit 2 to consume that. The other problem is that if we hit S to save our game and reopen it, our health potion disappeared from the hotkey, which you don't want to happen if you really create a game. So to set it up so that our hotkeys are also saved, we first need to go to our blueprints, structures and create a new one call that s underscore saved hotkey and now for all of our hotkeys we will first save whether they are empty question mark that will be a boolean and if not they will have an inventory index that will be an integer for the default values we can check the empty boolean and save it then we will need to go to our save games and to the inventory save. Here let's create a new variable called saved hotkeys. Type for that will be s underscore saved hotkey and it will be an array. Then compile and save, close it. Afterwards we will need to go back to our BP inventory and change some functions here. So let's go to the save inventory function. I'll search for that save inventory here it is and let's add some space before we save the game to slot now what we'll do is under variables drag in the main widget get the hotkey widgets and then we'll go into a for each loop connect that to the set amount of slots now for all of our hotkey widgets we will first get the hotkey slot then get the empty boolean get the inventory index and right click somewhere and search for make s underscore saved hotkey connect the empty and the inventory index then off of the s saved hotkey we will search for add connect that to the loop body and then we will need an array to store that in so let's promote that to a local variable call it local hotkeys and leave it like that then when our loop is completed we will drag off of the save game object or let's copy that over and we will set saved hotkeys to our local array that we just generated afterwards save the game to slot and then copy over the local hotkeys and clear that array 
So the next time we save our game, we can add them again. Pile and save. Then let's go to our load inventory function and duplicate that. Now we need a function called load hotkeys. So the reason why we can't just load the hotkeys in our load inventory function is that the load inventory function is called when our BP inventory is spawned. But we can only load the hotkeys when they are actually already generated and that happens way afterwards. So we need a separate function for that. Uh, here let's remove everything after the set save game object. And then again we will drag in the main widget, get the hotkey widgets, go into f for each loop, connect that to the set save game object and to the other execution path from the is valid. Then off of the array element we will get the hotkey slot again. And this time we will set empty and also set the inventory index. Let's line that up here. And now we also need to get them and therefore drag in the save game object, get the saved hotkeys and get from that at the array index. Move that over a bit and break it afterwards. Then we can connect the empty, connect the inventory index, and afterwards we will update the hotkey slot so we can actually see that. When we complete it, we can return. And now we still need to find out when we call that function. And that we will have to do in our main widget because that is responsible for generating the hotkeys. So let's search for our main widget. Here it is. Head over to the graph. And on event construct, we will check for show hotkeys. If it's true, we will generate them. And afterwards, drag in the inventory and load hotkeys. Connect that. And close it. That's everything we had to do. But because we made changes to our save games, we first need to remove our old save states. So just right click on anything, show that in Explorer, then go back to your project name to saved. And under save games, delete the two .sav files. And now we will hopefully be able to test. So here's a player, nothing is saved as you can see. Pick up some items and actually one that you can use, the health potion. Let's drag the health potion to our spacebar, a hero sword to three, and use one health potion. Then we can hit S, close the game, reload it, and you can see that our hotkeys are still assigned, and if I hit three, our hero sword is used, and we see that equipped.